Savitri, page 136. Here, first she crawled out from her cabin of mud, where she had lain inconscient, rigid, mute. Its narrowness and a tarpar held her still. A darkness clung to her, uneffaced by light. There neared no touch redeeming from above. The upward look was alien to her sight, forgotten the fearless godhead of her walk. Renounced was the glory and the felicity, the adventure in the dangerous fields of time. Hardly say a wild, valuing to bear and live. A wide, unquiet mist of seeking space, a rayless region swallowed in vague swathes that seemed unnamed, unbodied, and unhoused. A swaddled, visionless, and formless mind asked for a body to translate its soul. Its prayer denied, it fumbled after thought, as yet not powered to think hardly to live. It opened into a vad and pygmy world where this unhappy magic had its source. On dim confines where life and matter meet, he wandered among things half seen, half guessed, pursued by ungrasped beginnings and last ends. Their life was born but died before it could live. There was no solid ground, no constant drift. Only some flame of mindless will had power. Himself was dim to himself, half felt, obscure, as if in a struggle of the void to be. In strange domains where all was living sense, but mastering thought was not nor cause nor rule. Only a crude child heart cried for ties of bliss. Mind flickered, a disordered infant glow, and random shapeless energies drove towards form and took each wisp fire for a guiding sun.